what is going on here? That's right. I purchased a thread up rescue box. I've never bought one before. Rescue boxes, mystery boxes, not my thing. I don't really like to spend money on something that might end up being junk and I need to try to find a way to make my money back. I don't need the extra inventory. I do have enough sourcing available at affordable prices that I, I don't have to get more stuff. Um, also, I, I love to source, it's my favorite thing. Thrift stores, yard sales, the bins, love it. So I don't, I don't need to have these boxes. But I ended up buying one because, well, first of all, I bought the DIY scrap fabric box. So it's, you know, comparatively speaking, pretty affordable. You think it's one of the cheaper ones. Um, the fun box is cheap, but the fun box, I've seen a lot of fun box unboxings and I have yet to see one that's really fun. It really does look like a lot of trash. Um, but all the unboxings I've seen of the scrap fabric have been interesting. Not necessarily lucrative, I don't really know because I haven't seen people do follow-ups, um, but interesting. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to use some of that money that's still sitting there at thread up from stuff that I sent them because, you know, those 91 cent payouts, they add up. Um, so I was like, let me, let me use it. So it ended up being $39 total, including shipping, and it says up to 10 pounds, and I weighed the box, and... It does weigh just over like 11 pounds, so that's pretty close to right. So I have, I've cut the tape, but I haven't opened the box or anything. Um, so based on what happens with this box, when we're done, we will discuss whether I think I'm ever going to buy another box again or whether this is the end of the road for me. Okay? Kind of excited. Which is, I guess, why some people... Oh, I didn't cut all the tape. Which is why some people do this. They just love that surprise. Surprise! Surprise! You just threw your money away. No, mm, nah, I don't love that so much. Okay. Whoop. That's my receipt. This did come from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I don't know why that matters, but everybody says where it comes from. I thought it would come from Arizona. And it would have come faster if it had come from Arizona. All right. Save the tissue paper. I set this down. I see something uh, tweedy. Tweed like. Uh, is that tweed? I don't know. Let's see. Nanette Lapour, size six. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. It's not in fashion. I mean, I think big blazers are in fashion right now, but that is cute. Purple inside. Look at that. Nanette Lapore makes cute stuff and she used to matter, but I don't know that she does. She probably has a deal with Kohl's or something and that's usually when, you know, they've jumped the shark. Uh, but this is super cute and in excellent condition hot. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway, just for a second. Oh, this is adorable. It's pretty small for a six. Like it just fits me and I usually wear a two or four, but I have a bit of a tummy. Um, and if you don't, I don't want to know about it. All right. What's this? This looks like a t-shirt. It feels very cheap. And it's got a hole in it. I can already see that. This is the garbage. Our yard sale pile. It's got a... Uh, feels really crappy. I don't know. Just some cheap Chinese thing. I'm going to put it in the yard sale pile. Even fixed. That isn't worth doing anything with. Okay. This is a nasty gal. Ooh. Nasty gal size US four you no US ten. And it's I don't know what it is. Is it an apron? Is it some sort of I guess it's like Yeah, I don't think this is worth selling either. 
This isn't promising. I'm not gonna make enough on that uh, Nanette Lepore to cover this. Um, I'm guessing it's, I don't know what it is. A wrap skirt? A really, really short wrap skirt? Um, mm, I doubt that's gonna do anything for me. Okay, it doesn't look like there's quite a bit of stuff in here. This is Time and True, which is part of the reason why I don't buy the other boxes, because I don't want a box full of Time and True. But this is pretty. I will attempt to sell this. It's a beautiful color, size large, 100% polyester. No, I think this is almost like a cover-up, a bathing suit cover-up. Cover uh, I'm not going to make much on that, but we'll see what I do with that. This is Ralph, Lauren Ralph Lauren, 100% linen. Okay, that's good. I'm okay with Ra La uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren and linen. I don't do as well with linen as a lot of people do. A lot of people are like, I'll pick up anything that's linen. I don't care the brand. Like, I have had some linen pieces sitting in my closet for a very long time, so... For me, linen is no guarantee. I'm just buttoning one button to make it easier. So it's a, oh, it, it's a nice blue. I like the pockets. It does have some staining there. So I'm gonna see if I can work my magic with that. Might just give it a spritz and throw it in the machine or I don't know, nah, I'll spot treat it first and see how that works. Um, but otherwise, if I can get that out, this is fine. I could, I could list this. Even if I can't get it completely out, but I can get it better, I think that'll be okay. All right. I'm hoping there's one piece in here I can get excited about. Banana Republic silk. Okay. Extra small. Not so okay. Again, on a fabric level, this is great. I like the color. It's sort of taupe. This could be something I end up sending back to thread up, but I will try to sell it first. Oh, and it's like three quarter button. I'll list it. See what happens. This looks like it's going to be Target of some sort or worse. Um, no label at all that I can see. It's actually a cute dress, a cute summer dress. Nice color. Um, I like the front. I don't know. This is something I would probably try to sell next summer for, you know, even if I, got, even if I only get like 10 bucks for it. Made in Italy. That's odd. There is no RN number. Because it looks like a very foreign tag. Okay, does Italy make crap? I, I, I don't expect Italy to make something like this. It's got boob pads in them. Very awkward how they are. They're like... Oh no, they're normal. This one's this one's folded in half or something. I'll have to play with that. But okay, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. It's made in Italy. I'll try to sell it at some point. This looks interesting. Something crocheted. Oh, how cute is that? I wonder if this is handmade. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. I'm so hot. Oh, my glasses are sliding down my face. That is so cute. I feel like this could be handmade. I don't know how I would know though, because I, there's not anything like a tag. So I'm just wondering when I list it, whether to call it handmade. I guess I'll call it possibly handmade. I don't know, what do you think? It's adorable. Not gonna make me a lot of money if it sells, but at least I can try to sell it. Pink and Roby, I think. This is Torrid. Okay, size two. Okay. That's sellable. 
Not gonna make a ton again, but. Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. I don't know what it is. If it's a ro it's like a, it's like terry cloth or like bedspread material. I'm trying it on, it's gonna be a little nutty because it's a size two. And I'm a normal two. So you just tie this here. And then what am I? Am I a robe or a cover up? Look at that. That's cute. Def definitely gonna list this. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Now I've got some things to sell. What is this? Be something good. I don't think so. The brand is Sweet, Sweet Heart. I feel a made in China label coming on, but let's see. Size, small. Oh, this is pretty though. I am gonna try and sell this. Okay, I've got the fan on. It's like multi-tiered and filmy and then lined. I think this will be pretty. Uh, I won't get a lot because there, there's no label or anything. Canar, K-E-N-A-R. I feel like that's sort of something you'd find maybe at Nordstrom's, Macy's, Dillard's, maybe Kohl's. I don't know, but it's 100% silk and very cute, size medium. Well, at least it's not another small. Kind of filmy. It's like the shirt version of that dress. It's filmy with a lining and it has this tear. So yeah, I'll be able to list that anyway. I can't say I'll be able to sell it. I can only say I could, I'll be able to list it. What is this? Oh, it's funny when you get clothes that are a mystery. What the heck? I don't know. So, wait, oh, <laughs> it's a dress. It's a dress, it's sleeveless. Is it's got these ties on the side. It's kind of an interesting piece, I'll tell you. That's got that under and then sort of that apron-y thing going over it. Like I really like this style. And and then it's got big slits on the side. But no label of any kind that I can see. Let's turn it inside out and give it a quick once over. There's this, this little piece, but it doesn't say anything on it. And that appears to be it. I'm going to give it a good steam and throw it on my mannequin and try to figure out what it looks like. I feel like it. it's interesting. Uh, no, I think this is it. This is not. This is wrecked. All right, that's too bad. I could put it in the yard sale pile. It's probably so wearable, but I definitely wouldn't sell it like that. All right. <sighs> Moving right along. Uh, we're running low on possibilities. Loft, outlet, size medium. That's pretty. It's got those tabs on the arms where you can make it shorter. This is the front, so it's got a V-neck front, and this is the back. Not a style I would wear, but I think it's a style somebody might wear. It's not horrible. Okay, what is this? This is Mark by Mark Jacobs, size 12. And I definitely can sell list something that's marked by Mark Jacobs, and it's very cute. It's got like cap sleeves. It feels gauzy, that kind of crepe fabric, crepe, and it's lined navy blue. Okay, this is very cute. I'm definitely going to be able to list this. Uh, 
Zara, size, I've been getting a lot of Zara lately. Size medium. I need to stay away from Zara at the stores. But this is cute. It's polka dot. You can't go wrong with polka dot. It's completely sheer in the sleeves and the back, but the front has a lining. So you can see the back of the bra, but not the front of the bra. And then this is attached, which you would tie here and you could wear it long, you could bow it like a pussy bow. That's what it's called, or secretary's bow. It's pretty. I'm gonna list that. What do you think so far? It's not exciting, but it does look like I'm going to make my money back and then some, I hope. Rebecca Taylor, size eight. I've never had anything Rebecca Taylor, so that's nice. And really, I've only had one damaged thing so far, and then one thing that I have no idea what it is that is probably not going to be anything. But this is just a, I got a lot of filmy stuff. So I'm not sure what I have here. Oh, this is what I think I have here. Let me button it up. I mean, zip it up. Oh, don't tell me the zipper is broken. The zipper's stuck. Bloody hell. All right, well, I'm gonna have to play with that. because I'm hoping that it's just stuck on the fabric, but it doesn't look like it. Shoot. I mean, I could actually replace that zipper my, s no, I really couldn't. Ugh, it is like not even budging. So this is what it would be if I, I don't know, put a little Vaseline there or something. It's a top, sleeveless top with like wings. Actually, this covers the whole front. That is a weird thing. This is really weird. Oh, it starts at the back where it would zip up if it would zip up. I don't know, it's weird. I see a spot too. So this is probably a no-go. Just too bad, it feels like silk, but I don't know if it is silk. And now I don't even care enough to go look at it. Oh, I don't think I like this. Do you remember? It reminds me of already. They used to sell these shirts at like the dollar store. And they, they bunched up into like a little, little thing. And then you like pulled them out. And they stretched out and became just a short sleeve top. There used to be a woman who played in our poker room who wore those every day. She must have just bought, an, you know, like 30 of them at the dollar store. So, no label or anything on this. Doesn't look interesting. Well, it's kind of like I like the fabric of it. I don't know. Ooh, I don't like how it feels at all. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, ooh. It's pretty, though. Oh, no. I don't like how it feels. Get it off. Get it off. Ah! Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be good. There's something green in here that looks interesting, so I'm gonna pass it for right now. What's this? J. Crew size two. What's with the small sizes? Uh, a thread up. On the bright side, it means I could keep it if I if I can't sell it if I like it. This is super cute, actually. It is a sleeveless button-down shirt all the way, but the buttons are hidden, and then there's this. Just does not scream. J. Crew, like this really surprises me that it's J. Crew. It's not factory. It's got a little bit of white from the deodorant. Don't you know you're supposed to wear that invisible stuff with something sleeveless and dark blue? Come on. Um, anyway, the a cursory glance at the beading. Uh, I see no missing beads, so I don't know. The beads go all the way around. This is kind of interesting. I don't know what this is, but it's, 
It's a good brand. It's not even for Tarte. It's Lily Pulitzer. Oh, please don't have anything wrong with you. Please. <laughs> I don't find much Lily Pulitzer here. I know I, I know it doesn't sell, sell like amazing, but it sells well and I can't find it. It's this cute, like, I don't know. What is that? Daisy print? And it's a shift dress. Oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. Size 14. What a great size. Look at those sleeves. It's got like... Uh, I don't know what you like, like cut with, uh, what are those zigzag scissors called? Oh, I don't know, but how cool is that? And as far as I can see, there's nothing wrong with it. Is there a zipper? Is there a zipper? Because it's the zipper is where you'll get you. Here's a zipper. A side zipper. Dress people, make more side zippers because not everybody has somebody to help them. Oh my God, that's great. I got a good piece, I got a really good piece, I think. Oh my God, this looks like something I used to own. No, it's not quite. All right, well, it's similar. This is their brand here. It's just a short sleeve top made out of a picnic tablecloth. Okay, so that is, oh, look at the buttons though. Buttons are super cute. Um, I'm gonna, there's no, there's no uh, label that says what it is, but it is 30% linen and 70% cotton. That's not a bad thing. And let's see if there's an RN number. There is, there's an RN number. So I will look it up. Oh, it's J. Crew. J. Crew UK, J. Crew Operating. Okay, all right, so that'll be worth a try. It's a little bit cropped. Maybe not right away. This is, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is Banana Republic Dylan Classic Fit. That's kind of nice. It's a pretty floral print blouse. I don't know. Is this too big to be ditzy? I think that's too big to be, unless I could call it a large ditzy print or liberty print is another term for a ditzy print. I don't know, but it's it's not bad. It's a size small. It doesn't look overly small. And it is probably, I'm, I'm gonna guess polyester, but. Yeah, 100% polyester, that's okay. I can list it at least. I see the bottom of the box, so. Rory Becca, size small. I don't know what Rory Becca is. I'm not going to research anything. I'm just going to release this as is. And if you know anything, you can tell me because I have to leave soon to go to the pool and I want to upload this as quickly as possible so you can share my, I don't know, my feelings, whatever they may be. This is a, oh no, another uh, damaged piece. Look at that. Can you see it? And you see it better on this side. Where is it? It's really not noticeable, so it's wearable, but I wouldn't sell it. It's just got these little pulls there. I wonder if I... If I steam it or hot press it. Uh, I don't know. If Rory Beck return, that guy, turns out to be a good thing, then I'll consider it. Otherwise, I might just try it on and throw it in my closet. Oh, yeah, not a fan already of this. This is La Blanca by Rod, Rod Beatty. La Blanca. Okay, uh, I don't know. There's actual words to that song, but everybody thinks it's just La Blanca. Uh, La Bamba. Anyway, it is a total fishnet top and nothing more, but it's in good condition. I don't know. There's no size. It looks like that tag was, but I'll look it up and see whether it's anything. It doesn't look promising, but there was, I was watching Making the Cut today and there was a, a champion outfit and it used a lot of mesh and they got all excited about it. And in fact, he won that challenge. So maybe the mesh thing is 
Something people like. Okay, I've just got two more to go. Um, a dress, pretty fabric. Doesn't appear, it's all like, is, I don't think that's called ruching when it's like the whole thing is elastic like that. And then it just has this, which I guess you tie around your neck and I see no tags. So this is not promising at all. Here's a tag, made in India, 100% cotton, one size, yeah. Huh. I don't think that's going to be much good. Go there. And finally, the green thing, which is cabbie, size six. It's a cute little jacket, it's, you know, Jackie O or Chanel look jacket. It does have a vintage look to it. I was hoping that it was actually vintage, but no such luck. Um, so I don't know. I'll list this, but it's going to be a hard sell. I feel like somebody got this at at, at Goodwill because, you know, Goodwill, the barbs match the color of the tag. So when you're shopping, it's even if you can't see the tags, you just look at the color of the barb and then you know what it is. So, okay, so that's everything. So I spent $39 on this. I think I can make a few bucks on it. This is my plan. I will maybe do a follow-up on this. I don't know. It could be in three months. It could be in six months. It could be never because if I don't sell anything, there's no follow-up. But what I'd like to do is, if I make some sales, um, I would like to actually take out the $39 I invested, put that in my bank, then any other money I make off of this, you know, say I make $100 off of this, I don't know, maybe that's, that's optimistic, but whatever, just for argument's sake, $100, then I can use that money to buy another box, either this box or a different box. Depends how much I make and how much the boxes are and what I wanna do. And I kind of wanna see, do that whole snowball, parlay it into, I'd like to, to use this money to buy another box and then sell that box and keep investing only the money I made off this original box and see how far it will go. Can I keep buying boxes? Can I keep you know making enough money to buy boxes? Or will it end someday with, you know, will it end with this one because I don't make enough to buy another box? Like, even if I make, even if I make uh, $80 on this, I can take my 39, put it away and use the rest to buy another one of these boxes and see how that goes. That is my plan. It's kind of an experiment. So at this point, I've invested $39 in Thread Up Rescue Box. And in theory, I don't ever want to spend another penny of my own or of the profits of things I sourced elsewhere. Only the profits from this. What do you think? I think that's an interesting experiment. And if it uh, actually goes anywhere, then I will do follow-up videos. All right, that is it. Interesting box, huh? Weird that they call it scrap fabrics. It does make you think, scrap fabrics, it's gonna be fabric, but who sends fabric remnants to thread up? I mean, people are not always bright. They send the men's things when they don't carry men's things, but random pieces of fabric, eh, I don't know. Tell me what you think, and I will see you on the next video, which I'm sure will be a traditional haul video.